prepares machines. lathe work fabrication lathe of machine. components using machine tools lathes are one of the most versatile machine tools in the industry used to perform a variety of machining operations the lathe is applied to the tool and rotated to perform various operations it can be used for facing turning knurling grooving drilling reaming boring cutting or parting off the main function of the lathe is to remove the material from the workpiece and make the workpiece the desired shape and size during the working of the lathe the workpiece is rotated against the tool to achieve material removal and the direction of tool movement becomes feed lathe machine types some of the important types of lathe machines given engine lathe or center lathe machine the engine lathe is the most important tool in the lathe family and by far the most widely used type of lathe machine turret lathe machine it is a production machine that is used for the production of products on a large scale it basically handles heavy duty work pieces The distinguishing feature of this type of lathe is that the tail stock is replaced by hexagonal turret. Tool room lathe machine. Tool room lathe is a modern engine lathe that is equipped with all the necessary accessories for the accurate tool room work. It is best suited for the production of small tools, dies, gauges, etc. Bench lathe Bench lathe machine is a type of small lathe machine which has all the parts of the engine lathe and speed lathe. It is mounted on a workbench and is used for doing small precision and light jobs. CNC lathe machine. Computer numeric control CNC is the most advanced form of the lathe machine. CNC lathe machine produces the most accurate products as compared to the other type of lathe machine. In this video we will have an discussion of engine lathe lathe machine parts the lathe machine consists of following main parts bed head stock tail stock carriage saddle cross slide compound rest tool post apron chuck feed rod lead screw spindle let's start from bed first bed construction The bed of the lathe machine is the base on which all the other parts of the lathe are mounted. Its upper surface is either scraped or grounded and the guiding and the sliding surfaces are provided. The bed consists of heavy metal slides running lengthwise with ways or wheels forced upon them. It is rigidly supported by cross girths. The three major units mounted on a bed are head stock, tail stock, carriage, head stock the head stock is present on the left end of the bed the main function of the head stock is to transmit power to the different parts of the lathe it supports the main spindle in the bearing and aligns it properly it also houses a necessary transmission mechanism with speed changing levers to obtain different speeds accessories mounted on the head stock spindle are three jaw chuck four jaw chuck lathe center and lathe dog collared chuck magnetic chuck tail stock the tail stock is a movable casting located opposite to the head stock on the way of the bed the basic function of the tail stock is to support the other end of the work when being machined to hold a tool for performing operations like drilling reaming tapping etc It consists of the dead centers, the adjusting screws, and the hand wheel. The body of the tail stock is adjustable on the base, which is mounted on the guideways of the bed and can be moved. 
Carriage. Carriage is located between headstock and tailstock. The basic function of the carriage is to support, guide, and feed the tool against the job during operation. It consists of five main parts. Saddle. Cross slide. Compound rest. Tool post. Apron. Saddle. It is an H-shaped casting mounted on the top of the lathways. It provides support to cross slide, compound rest, and tool post. Cross slide. Cross slide is provided with a female dovetail on one side and assembled on the top of the saddle with its male dovetail. The top surface of the cross slide is provided with T slots to enable fixing of rear tool post or coolant attachment. Carriage basically provides a mounted or automatic cross movement for the cutting tool. Compound rest. Compound rest is present on the top of the cross slide. It supports the tool post and cutting tool in its various positions. Compound rest is necessary for turning angles and boring short tapers and forms on forming tools. Tool post. The tool post is mounted on the compound rest. It is used to hold various cutting tool holders. The holders rest on a wedge which is shaped on the bottom to fit into a concave shaped ring. Segmental type, which permits the height of the cutting edge to be adjusted by tilting the tool. It is fixed on the top slide. It gets its movement by the movement of the saddle, cross slide, and top slide. Apron. The apron is fastened to the saddle and hangs over the front of the bed. Apron consists of the gears and clutches for transmitting motion from the feed rod to the carriage, and the split nut which engages with the lead screw during cutting threads. Two types of apron are extensively used, incorporating drop worm mechanism. Friction or dog clutches. Chuck. Chuck is basically used to hold the workpiece, particularly of short length and large diameter or of irregular shape which can't be conveniently mounted between centers. It can be attached to the lathe by screwing on the spindle nose. Four different types of chucks are most commonly used in lathe, independent of four-jaw chuck. Three-jaw or universal chuck. Collect chuck and magnetic chuck. Independent of four jaw chuck. It is used for irregular shapes, rough castings of square or octagonal in such jobs, where a hole is to be positioned off the center. It consists of four jaws and each jaw is independently actuated and adjusted by a key for holding the job. Three jaw or universal chuck. It consists of three jaws that move simultaneously by turning a key and the workpiece automatically remains in the center of the chuck opening. It is used for holding a round, hexagonal bar or other symmetric work. Collared chuck. It is mostly used in the places where production work is required such as in capstan lathe or automats. It is used for holding the bars of small sizes below 63 mm. Magnetic chuck. They are of permanent magnet type are electrically operated. In lathe, it does not have widespread use. Feed rod. Feed rod is a power transmission mechanism used for precise linear movement of the carriage along the longitudinal axis of the lathe. In some lathe machines instead of feed rod lead screws are used. Lead screw. The lead screw is used mostly in the case when the threading operation is to be performed on a lathe. As we know for threading operation requires rotational movement of the job, workpiece and the linear movement of the tool.